Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn about customary measurement system and metric measurement system. Customary measurement system is primarily based in US and metric measurement system is used in signs and outside of US. Outside of US. And here let's list out some customary units like for example you have inch foot yard miles ounce pounds used in customary units and in metric units you have grams kilograms centimeters meters etc and so on so let's estimate the units easily to understand what one inches one foot one yard and one mile is so how do we estimate an inch to the tip of the thumb from the thumb knuckle to the tip of the thumb can be estimated as one inch one foot is like one adult foot and one yard is counter height so you can easily estimate accordingly one mile can be estimated as distance distance walked in 20 minutes so like this you can estimate let's estimate what is the best estimate for length of a pencil is it 8 inch or 8 miles what do you think 8 inch is like 8 thumb distance 8 thumb distance and what about 8 miles it is 8 20 minutes walk so what do you think is the nearest to that 8 inches let's estimate the length of the bed is it 2 feet or 2 yards so 2 feet is like 2 adult feet and 2 yards is 2 counter heights so you can easily say which one is the nearest estimate yes not two feet it's two yards two counter heights all right let's move on to weights how can we estimate ounce pound and a ton one ounce can be estimated as a slice of bread and one pound can be estimated as a loaf of bread one ton can be estimated as a size of a walrus. All right. Now, let's estimate the weight of a car. Is it two pounds or two tons? So, what do you think is the better estimate? Two pounds is like two loaves of breads. Two loaves of breads. And two tons is two walruses. So what do you think is the weight of a car? Not two loaves of bread, of course. So it will be two tons. All right. <clears throat> Next, let's estimate the weight of, let's estimate the weight of a hockey puck. Is it six pounds or six ounces? Six pounds is nearly six loaves of bread. And six ounces is approximately six slices of bread. So what do you think a hockey puck weighs? Is it six pounds? No. Six ounces? Yes. All right. Let's see the estimate for volumes. One teaspoon can be estimated as one small spoon. One small spoon. One tablespoon can be estimated as one large spoon. One fluid ounce can be estimated as half the size of an egg. Easy. Now one cup can be estimated as one closed fist. Okay. One pint as one glass 
of water. So you can easily estimate one pint is nearly one glass of water. One quart is one carton of a coffee creamer. So you can estimate it like that. And one gallon is an estimate of one jug of milk. Now let's estimate some examples. Volume of large egg. Is it 90 spoons or 9 quarts? So 90 spoons is like 9 small spoons. And what about 9 quarts? 9 cartons of coffee creamer. So what is a better estimate? Is it 90 spoons or 9 quarts? Of course not 9 quarts. It's 9 teaspoons. Okay, volume of a medium size jar of peanut butter, 16 cups or 16 ounces. So is it 16 closed fist or 16 one half eggs? That means it is total of 8 eggs. What do you think? 16 closed fist? No. 16 ounces, 8 eggs, yes. Okay, let's go ahead. Volume of a bathtub. Is it 72 cups or 72 gallons? 72 closed fists or 72 gallons. That means 72 jugs of milk. What do you think? Is a better estimate? Of course, not 72 cups. 72 gallons. Yes. So, hope this is helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care.